Hello and welcome to this episode of Minecraft. My name is Robot Hitmaster. In this episode, we're going to start creating a melon farm after we found some melon seeds in the last episode. Um, there's a couple of things I need to sort out first. First of all, I'm starving. No, not in real life, more like my character. So, first things first is to shove all of my stuff in here. I'm going to need, and then collect the resources I'm going to need for today's episode. So I'm going to need a lot of dirt. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of granite. And like I said, I do need to sort all this out. Uh, there's still not enough flesh. Uh, but I do need some food. So if I take that. Yeah, I need some food because I am well down on health. Well, well down on hunger anyway. Down to the like last four bars. So let's go eat a bunch of carrots. Because everyone knows a man's best friend is carrots. And there we go, four carrots, and that should heal me up quite a treat. Uh, and you also need to find... I might go some wood me, and need to make some torches. But I think the torches might be in an, in my A-frame building. Oh no, I've got, a bunch, I've got some torches here. And I want to see where I put my sword. Oh, there's a weaky sword. Uh, more torches. Oh no, there's my thing. Got that. Uh, yep. So I think I might have put my sword in here. If not, then I've got a big issue. But, but I don't know where to put it. No, I don't have my sword. I think I lost my sword. Oh yeah, that's it. I need a new sword. But anyway, that's not important right now. I need wood though. And let's grab some wood. I'm going to grab a couple of sacks. going to grab that and then boop, boop, boop and boop. And, yep, I think that is now everything that I'm going to need. So, I'm going to build, uh, I did have, I've already kind of started making out a bit of a frame. Because uh, in in the last, before, while in this period between this episode and last episode, not only did it take me about another five minutes to make myself out of that stupid cave, uh, I also decided to play out the next day just so we're kind of going like a, a new fresh day when we kind of jumped in to this next episode. Uh, and so I kind of started setting up the area. As you can see by this little dirt frame, it's nothing special. But uh, actually, no, I actually wanted to build it. Actually, no, I need the dirt for later. But what I was going to do is build a bottom out of dirt. No, out of wood. Just for more of an aesthetic effect. I'm only going to do the bits which don't have any dirt in them or sand or anything or to that effect. I, mean, what, I don't, I don't want to put down too much wood. I just want to put down enough. So I'm going to. But what I am going to do quite frequently is kind of go up for air because you see the air meter in like the bottom right hand side of the corner. If that goes too far down, then you actually will lose some health. Keep that in mind. Also, underwater, it's very difficult to take down bits of wood. So you will need to go up land and hit it from there. You can either... But this platform, for me, is kind of to stop... In my opinion, just kind of stops all your resources when you kind of mine them, farm them out. Getting lost in the water and you have to like, dive down and it's so painful. And Yeah, I just kind of like to make things a little bit easier for myself. I think everyone likes doing that for now and again, so do forgive me for that. But once we have this built, we can get to the fun bit. Again, I haven't really decided that how many tiers it's going to be, but again, I'm probably I'm going to have to do it in twos due to the way this works. It's very similar to pumpkins in the way that it works to get farmed out. And I think there's like a bit there, so I can see a hole. And everyone knows that holes are not good. Although some people say every hole is a goal, but I think they're talking about something entirely different. And I won't touch that too much now because I kind of like to think of this as uh, suitable for the majority of people watching the stream. And not everyone, yeah, like, I don't know, but it's definitely not, I wouldn't consider this like a, like an explicit stream. I, I don't really swear during the stream. Um... I don't like swearing from a personal point of view, so I try and keep it. I keep it out of my videos as much as possible. I might say the odd thing, but really, I try and keep it as much out of my videos as humanly possible. 
I'm going to let's make this clear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how this is going to pan out. Boop, boop, boop. Nope. Nope. Keep that clear. And doop, doop. Uh, ha! Yeah! There you go. And yeah. There we go. There we go. And then I'm going to have... Oh yeah, because then I can make five lots. Yes! And I'm just going to mine those two bits because those two bits are there. I want that to be dirt. So I'll just do that. And then in that case, I might mine and get rid of all these, these bits of dirt and make that look really cool. There we go. <sighs> there we go. Yeah! There! Yeah! There we go. Happy with that. Now let's get rid of some of this. Yeah! Okay, back down goes dirt. Now let's get rid of that. And get some melons up. Well, I'll be able to get the melons up as soon as I've done this bit. Uh -huh. Melons. Okay, that's the first row. And there we go. Let's build some more. Get some more in there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and then I think, oh yeah. Because this is like a large fish you put down, it looks very brown at the moment. It probably is going to stay there for quite some time because, um, in fact, these bits will always be like brown. These ones near the grass probably will turn green eventually, but uh, it probably will be quite some time just looking in its resident glory as it did. And what I need to do is all these top bits need to now be like dirt. So this area is going to look a little bit different. This also leads down to my caves, if you probably haven't already noticed. But I'm going to get rid of all of this sand for two reasons. I might make a bit of glass, but I'd rather use it for cacti. I love loves the cacti. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to build that out, build those staircases out of wood at some point. I think sand is a wee bit flimsy, but for now that's good enough. But what I am now going to do is I'm going to get this and I'm just going to mine the sides of this, like this, gonna mine one side of each, like that, and I'm gonna you really use the left hand side of them, apart from the edges, which is gonna be what sides on the edge, nearest to water, for these middle ones it doesn't really matter because both sides are in the water, but I'm just using this side so it is consistent, and I'm gonna use the side closest to the water, actually this side it kind of works out be the same. Now, I've only got five seeds, but I'm going to plant this and then maybe in like a couple episodes time, I'll come back to it and sort it out. Because at the end of the day, this is going to like go into like making like a really big farm, like one that I'm building in one of the two areas that I'm kind of sorting out right now. But what I am going to do while waiting for the day to end, so I don't want to go up there and do that, and it's getting quite near the day. My bed's right there. So I'm actually going to mine out some pumpkins. Uh, because why not? And I'm just going to grab pumpkin. It's been a while since I've been like pumpkin farming, or pumpkin grinding even. I've probably got way more pumpkins at this stage than I actually need, but I don't really care because they're one of my favourite resources because they can make a really effective light. Just shove a torch up inside of their innards and they do make a really cool jack-o'-lantern. Really good thing for Halloween, like Halloween's coming up on the 31st of October, which at this point is... Uh, for reference today, I'm recording this on the 1st of April. It's April Fool's Day. Um, I'm not doing a special April Fool's episode. Because, as you probably noticed by now, today when you're viewing this is not April Fool's Day. I was thinking about doing April Fool's Day, but 
I had I did have like two video two video attempts that I kind of had, but they both, in my opinion, were not up to the robotic standard. Hence why they've not gone up to the channel. However, the affiliates of Robotic Master may have seen them at some point if I decided to share them, and if I didn't, it's probably because I didn't think they were good enough even to share to them. Anyway, I sense it's starting to get dark, so I'm going to get a few. Whoa, that was a quick spawn. I'm going to grab a few more pumpkins. And I actually think that's enough. Oh, cool. I don't even have to go for the door. I can just do that. That, I think, is pretty cool. Now, I'm going to shove that in a location. And I'm going to shove that in a location. I don't need that. Uh, I probably will need to build myself a sword at some point. But... For this next part of the day, I'm going to continue building, speaking of really cool farms, I'm now going to build like, the next part of the big old farm I was going to build. I have to do something a little bit different with this because of the wet, because it's going to be like, multi-layered. So I've got dirt and I'm going to do something pretty cool and I don't know how I'm going to do that and I might even build another tier on there. Um, yeah, because then I have to build like another tier then. But. But that's just going to look stupid. But what I'm now going to do. I'm now going to dig out this bottom layer out. In fact, do I have my... Do you know what? I'll be right back. And when I see you again, I'm going to have a few spades. And I'll be able to clear this out with relative ease. So tune in for then. Alright, got my spades. Time to get back to the project. There we go. Now I'm back into the area. Now I'm just going to mine. First of all, we're going to take out this. This is for like the the initial outline I did a couple of episodes ago. And I'm just gonna like mine it out, get rid of it all. Because I want to create the first layer and then kind of just put dirt in there. I don't know how I'm really gonna like light this up. I've not really thought about that yet, but I will come cross that bridge when I come to it. And I'll probably do like a line of. I'll probably separate it into tiers or something. Just line it up. I'll just do like Jacko Lantern lines every now and then. But I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Mm. But for now, I just need to clear this bottom layer because then I'm going to do something pretty cool. I uh, don't know how I'm going to go and do that yet, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. Uh, yeah. So what I'm basically doing, like I just said, I'm clearing out this bottom layer. Clearing it all. I'm even clearing out the stuff near is the door. Um, because I want a nice even area here um, before I can kind of like create the basin. Because the whole idea is that on each floor uh, I have to like contain all the water and whatnot. And for me to do that, I kind of need to uh, create a layer of water and then just like put... Kind of sim what I do in the farms, but uh, I basically have to man make it. This is like a man made lake, and I'm going to do it tiered. Uh, it might mean there's some leakage, but uh, that will cross that bridge when I come to it. I think it's going to be quite difficult to do for obvious reasons, but I like to think that it's going to be absolutely worth it in the long run. So I'm just going to do that and that. And this is why I bought the the shovels. It's purely because of how easy and quick it is, as I found out in an earlier episode. Where I was like clearing out a patch of dirt, and I just used these shovels, and it made it so much easier. But yeah, I know. That, oh, 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 oh! I've dug up too far. I've dug out too far. That's not good. 
Uh, I'll just put those two back because they shouldn't have even mined out. But now I'm just going to smash these bits up. Yeah, there we go. Oh god. That's the thing. I think I'm going to just going to light it up uh, artificially for now. Because I don't really know what else to do until we get somewhere like that. And then we'll have to figure it out as we go along. But yeah, this is going on quite well so far. We've got this there done. Even the wall's happy. And we're just kind of just getting rid of all this dirt. Um, as I kind of mentioned previously, I am looking to get a couple of new series started. I did a few test runs the other week and a few of the series looked really cool. However, um, one of the series I was going to do was uh, Robot Wars Arenas of Destruction and I still plan to do that at some point. The only trouble is when I tested it the other day, um, I even recorded like about a couple of episodes. The AI did absolutely nothing and that for me as a series is an absolute deal breaker because I need like a bit of a, you know, I need a challenge and I need them to attack me. Uh, the reason I think it might be is because I had to install some kind of patch for it because I am using Windows 10, the game wouldn't play and I had to download something online and I think it might be playing with the files, I don't know. Uh, but it's kind of a deal breaker right now because I can't just have fights where I'm fighting myself. That's just not fun. Uh, there is a series from that game I could probably still do regardless. But uh, it would be much more fun if I could do the whole game. Considering it's a game that I grew up with in my childhood and I think it's a totally awesome game. It's not without its flaws, but in con when you think of how robot, wars, robot games are, and in comparison to games like Robot Arena 3, it is so much better than Robot Arena 3. Not really saying much to it, Robot Arena 3 is... Toilet. No, seriously, it is Toilet. If you ever played a game, you know what I mean. If you haven't already played the game, don't play Robot Arena 3. And I think I may even do an episode on that just to show you how ridiculous it is and why Robot Arena 2, which is like completely free right now, is so much better than it. But anyway, kind of uh, stepping away from that rant, um, I do found on these tests that the footage quality was pretty good, which is one of the concerns I had with Minecraft for quite some time. You probably noticed there's a couple of episodes with a few weeks ago were quite poor but I kind of play around the settings in between recordings and I've got that fixed so I was quite happy about that um, you know it's just one of those things you just have to keep going and moving on forward there are a few series that I would like to attempt on this channel um, uh, just to kind of see how they are how people receive them if they go well I might make it into a regular series if not they'll just be dumped by the wayside I'm also am probably going to do some more Rocket League episodes at some point, uh, just as for a bit of fun. So I did those for you when I first kind of started tubing, but um, I probably it was one of those things where I didn't really think it would be a really good series. Well, not a consistent series anyway. I'll probably do a few games here and a few games there, but I never really wanted it to be like a, a consistent series. Uh, it was just kind of one of those things that I tried out when I first set up just to see if it worked, what the appetite was, what the audience was going to be. But yeah, it, it, they are the episodes that I do. I am aware that some of the episodes myself, they are some of my most watched videos alongside, you know, not my most watched video because I recently released a video for St. Patrick's Day and that's currently my most watched video and it kind of got there within the space of like five hours. Um, I don't even know why because it is completely random but maybe that's what people want to see is totally random videos um, I probably think at this point there's Easter still to come so there might be something going on Easter in fact no yes there is 
There is something going on at Easter. Again, I'm not going to spoil it. If it's already come out at this point, you already know about it. If it hasn't already come out at this point, you've got that to look forward to. So, yeah, boy. I cannot wait. It's basically going to be an epic season incoming. And I, I keep removing that. I don't need to remove that. But, oh my god, this actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. But I do need a lot of ladders. But again, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Yeah. Yeah, just keep on carving this out. Carving it all out. Good carving it out. We are carving it out. Carving it out. Wa la 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 la. We are carving out. Yeah, we're just carving out all of this dirt for the sake of building a giant farm. Because this is what this area is going to be. It's going to be a giant farm of stuff. And I haven't really decided what sort of farm this will be. But I'm going to make it tiered. So it's going to go up and it's going to have all of them. There we go. And oh, oh. That's the sign I need to go to bed. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Minecraft. My name's been Robotic Aster. In this episode, we built ourselves a melon farm and we've kind of started decorating and getting ready to build the first farm and a big multi-story farm fest. Enjoy yourselves, guys. This has been Robotic Master and I'm now signing off. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.